Mrs. Rabe, I wondered if I might speak with you about Theophilus Harlow. I'm a friend of the Bickles, and I'm trying to gather evidence against him. Poor Joanna and little Archie. And now Harlow has taken my darling Isco. What do you mean? Why? I'm a security guard at Gringotts, and my husband is a curse breaker for them. Harlow approached me about helping him extort my colleagues into giving him treasures from the vaults. And you declined? Of course I declined. Repeatedly. I thought they'd given up until I came home one night and found my husband gone and a note affixed to my door with a knife. The note stated that I only had a few days to reconsider helping with some banking needs and that my husband would appreciate it if I acted quickly. But the help Harlow wants is help that I cannot give and my dearest Isco is paying the price. Thank you, Mrs. Rabe. Knowing the lengths that Harlow will go to is helpful, albeit more than disturbing. <laughs> Mr. Bickle was trying to help us, but now he's gone. I don't know what to do. I shall do all I can to get evidence against Harlow, Mrs. Rabe. Very well. Here's the note I received. You must be careful as well. Please don't put yourself in danger. <laughs> yeah, right. Wow. Uh huh. Some evidence worth hanging on to. Thank then. you. Ooh. I hope it's not too Found late. It. Now to find Mr. Bickle's other two friends. I think there's more stuff upstairs. Yeah, I believe there is. <clears throat> I don't know what level lock it is. Let's find out. Oh, oh hell this. yeah. Hello, Hamora. Woo! Lumos. Rebellion. Ah, oh, dummy guys. to make it nighttime real quick. Hello. Huh? Why can't I change it? I don't know. Are you in like in the middle of an action or something? Is it because I'm on a quest? Oh, that's why. That's annoying. Can I turn off my quest? Uh, you'd have to restart it. Ugh. Okay, well, don't let me forget. <laughs> I will remember. They're all over the place. There are quite a few Debbie guises in Hogs. Otto Street. Dibble works at Gladrags. I should check there. Yeah, but, but, but please tell me you didn't take it. But perhaps it's been here. Mr. Dibble, may I speak with you? It's about Theophilus Harlow. I have nothing to say about him. Uh, may I interest you in a stunning cravat today? Please, sir, I would like to help. I spoke to Mrs. Bickle. You know the Bickles? Mm, all right, but we must be discreet. Can't have Mr. Hill hearing this. I know Mr. Hill. He was kind to me the day of the troll attack. Oh, he's a good man. But even he wouldn't understand about Harlow. It started a few weeks ago. I was distracted, reading a note when you know who came into the shop. No. I had the note behind the counter. He has not, not been help. born yet. He stared at me for a moment, then asked me to check on an order he placed. I went into the storeroom to check on what Bad turned job. out to be a non-existent order. When I returned, he was holding the note. What was in the note? It was a note from Rosie Hill, Mr. Hill's daughter. You see, we've been, well, secretly engaged these past Aww. six months. We haven't told Mr. Hill yet. I dare say he has higher hopes for her. Harlow advised me in no uncertain terms that my relationship with Rosie, not to mention my employment here, depended upon Will you my finish cooperation. This? What did he ask you to do? It all happened so quickly. In an instant, he took a very expensive scarf from the counter, pocketed it, and smiled. 
He said, your secret is safe as long as I can supply my lady friend with delightful items like this every so often. I've been able to cover for his request until now with some creative bookkeeping, but I can't keep it out for much longer. I'm terrified to say anything. I could never live without Rosie. Thank you for telling me. I'm gathering evidence to take Harlow down. I would love nothing more than to see him rotting in Azkaban, but be careful. He's an awful man and incredibly dangerous. As for Rosie's letter, should you happen upon it, I have committed it to memory. You may destroy it immediately. Understood. Now oh. hurry off before Mr. Hill returns. Okay. Where was I? Wait. We're on the right track. Now Stop to find the last me. of Mr. Bickle's friends. Can I go in here? Nice. Hmm. Hmm. What? Speaking of Azkaban, mm -hmm. did you know that I went to Azkaban? I did know that. You knew the Hufflepuffs can? Yes. I knew that because I think Rebellion. Katie's husband is a Hufflepuff? Or she's a Hufflepuff. Something like that. A cat! Thank you. Wow, they're funky. Hmm. Agabus Filbert must be around here somewhere. I don't know if he meant to, but you got the Women's Month. Hello there. I did not mean to. I got the family Excuse pass. Excuse me, all I know. Mr. Filbert. I wondered if I might speak with you about your dealings the with Theophilus Harlow. This is like I Halloween. Hope to ease Mrs. Bickle's <laughs> mind by gathering evidence against What's him. Oh, tragic. What's tragic? What clear. happened to Bickle? He wanted me to speak out against Harlow for an act of violence committed against me. But I feared Harlow's retaliation, and so I refused. If you had spoken out against him as Mr. Bickle asked, perhaps Harlow would be locked away by now. Perhaps. But uh, perhaps I would have suffered a similar fate. You said that Harlow committed an act of violence against you. Could you tell me what happened? Before my extraordinary wife, Dulcibella, passed away, she had just completed Why don't you a small ever tell book me of I'm poetry. Extraordinary. As a surprise for her birthday, one she never had the chance to celebrate, <laughs> You're extraordinary. I had the book beautifully oh, bound yeah, and pleated in gold. One day, Harlow came calling to punish me for having spoken out against the Neanderthals that comprise Rookwood's lot. <clears throat> Before I knew it, I'd been petrified. And Harlow was rifling through my home. He found the book of poetry with its exquisite gold plating. I watched helplessly, lying there in my entranceway as he walked away with the book, laughing as he went. I was shaken to my core. Still am, to be honest. I imagine you fear Harlow retaliating again. But do you mind if I share this information with Officer Singer? <sighs> I suppose I have no choice. This extortion can't go on forever. You can pass it on to anyone who may be willing to help. Harlow does not like people talking, as you already know. I've spoken with Mr. Beckle's friends. Oh. Now to find Natty. No, wrong one. There's another one. It's not like Natty to be late. She said she was going to the Hogshead. Oh my Perhaps god. I'll find her there. Oh, I was just there! <laughs> He must be around here somewhere. That he's Her wand! She can cast without it. She wanted me to find this. She's in trouble. Uh -oh. Velio will show me where she was taken. Yeah. Revelio. Huh? Oh, up there. 
Oh, footprints. Wow. <laughs> More dummy guys is everywhere. Well, shit, I know where to come now. Another one! 